This is a little demonstration of how you can make your own personalised Christmas cracker. This is the finished product and um, it contains a really nice gift, much better than one you can just get when you just buy them ready made. Um, it contains some funny jokes and a lottery ticket. And uh, as you can see, I've decorated it with um, a name and a little decoration there. So I'm going to demonstrate now how you can make one like this. So the materials and equipment that we need are um, the centre of kitchen roll. Use quite, uh, these are from um, quite wide kitchen rolls. The, the centres are quite wide. As you can see the difference this this one here. The wider the ones the better because you can get uh, better presents inside really. Slightly bigger presents inside. Okay, and we need one and a half, one and a half kitchen roll centres. They used to use toilet rolls but I don't particularly like the idea of something that was sitting in your bathroom then sitting on your dining table. So I think kitchen roll is much better. You need some good quality wrapping paper. Make sure it's good quality because if you use cheap wrapping paper, too cheap, then it splits easily. Okay. Uh, you want some pretty parcel tape. It'll be decorating. Some a glue stick, some cellar tape, a pair of scissors. Um, I also use this knife for slicing through the these, which um, I'll show you in a few minutes. Christmas cracker snapper, which you can buy from arts and craft shops, and uh, a pre-made name that will go on that will go on the. Christmas cracker itself. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is you need one and a half, as I said before, three halves. These tubes need to be cut into three halves. So there's half. So just measure, and well, that's to decorate, that's just a decoration for the, for the cracker. So first of all, we need to just mark this so that you're cutting it in exactly half. So then you've got three halves like that. Okay. And what we're going to do is this will be the centre, that'll be the centre one, and these two will be the ones that go over the end. We're going to be covering them in pretty paper soon. Okay. So first of all, we're going to be cutting the centre of the, um, covering the centre of the cracker.
this all the way down. This will help to shape the, the cracker. Get your length of ribbon, pass the ribbon. a hole all the way through so that you can thread the snapper through so you just I use the wooden a wooden spoon handle just to make sure there's a hole a hole big enough I'm just going to see if we can show you there okay do it both. That one's already got a nice big hole in it, you see? So you can see. Now we'll just test it out, see what it, uh, how it fits. It fits quite well, a bit big. I'm going to cut these a little bit because they're a bit too wide. We need it so that you can hold on to it here. So I'm going to lengthen this a little bit. Either end. doesn't slip away.
Of course, no Christmas cracker would be complete without the cracker jokes. And uh, you'll have some great fun researching the cracker jokes on the internet. Um, I usually print off three and then I usually print off three and I um, roll them up and pop them inside the cracker. An additional thing you could put inside as well is a lottery ticket, rolled up in the same way. It's quite a nice treat. And then there's the the gift. You can you can put extra nice gifts in rather than little plastic things. I've got some um, cufflinks here, but you can use items of jewellery. Um, Small bottles of miniature alcohol go going quite well. Okay, so they go inside as well. Just inside there. And the name. And there it is ready for pulling at the Christmas table. So there you have it. Your very own special personalised Christmas cracker. I hope you enjoy making one for yourself and your family. And um, oh, I did forget to mention that something that helps it to go really well is if you do it with a little glass of pale cream sherry. Cheers. So, all that remains is for me to say Happy Christmas and uh, I hope you have a good one and I hope you remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. <laughs>